Brothers and sisters of the Golden Dawn, this morning I received news that magical author Nick Farrell has expressed his willingness to facilitate peace and camaraderie in the Golden Dawn. By discouraging within his Facebook group any further posts or threads or links that defame the character of any Golden Dawn leader, myself included. I applaud Mr. Farrell for his leadership, wisdom, and courage he demonstrates in taking such a bold step. It's not always easy to leave behind animosities of the past, especially when others in our community remain engaged in promoting such a contentious and debilitating us versus them mindset. Some even attempt to elevate themselves above others by uh, defining themselves exclusively as the Golden Dawn community. This type of uh, exclusionary thinking only encourages polarization and division in our community. It's distressingly obvious that the divide and conquer mentality has created enough negativity in this world and is unbecoming of individuals who claim to be seekers of light. The naysayers who would continue to relegate and condemn the Golden Dawn community to the indignities of the past, to you I say today, there is no us, there is no them, there is only the Golden Dawn that each and every one of us are privileged to be a part of. There is no sole owner or group that can monopolize the wisdom of ages as contained in the Golden Dawn. Even those of us charged with the burden of leadership are but stewards of a hermetic tradition that has survived not centuries, but since time immemorial. We are one Golden Dawn community united by one idea of the inherent goodness of humankind and the power of the Golden Dawn to heal and transform people's lives. One cannot heal properly by picking at old wounds. In recent days, we as a community have witnessed a terrible travesty, the coming to light of a list of people targeted by hatred Appearing on that list were the names of my wife Leslie and I, together with the names of a number of people that I'm unfamiliar with. Sadly, the name of one of these persons, David Matuchik, was crossed off, lauding that at least one name on the list was no longer breathing. I never knew David Matuchik, but I do know that today is his funeral. To the family and friends of Mr. Matuchik, my heart goes out to you in your time of suffering. Having recently lost our only son, Adam, my wife Leslie and I can certainly identify with your anguish. Yesterday, I came into contact for the first time with several people whose names appear on the target list, together with Leslie and I. The common thread that each of us share is a history of being targeted by online defamation for extended periods of time. Yesterday, we became aware of this target list of terroristic threatening that it has been justified as just a joke. But I also heard how one individual on the list has already been the victim of hate crimes. Their home came under gunfire. Such things are not a joke. And ridiculing the loss of a grieving family is no laughing matter either. There's a lesson to be learned from this. Online defamation and attacks on spiritual communities are affecting the thoughts of certain individuals to the point of taking violent action. Despite this, I witnessed yesterday one of the Golden Dawn community's finest hours as a grassroots movement spontaneously emerged between members of our Facebook group and member of Mr. Farrell's group, who behind the scenes attempted to negotiate a real end to the defamation that has ravaged our community for two decades. This is exactly the healing we need to stand strong against the recent terror imposed on our dear brothers and sisters. We cannot continue to fuel the fire of hatred and not expect it to get out of hand. We must be wiser stewards of our words and of our actions. To all of you in the Golden Dawn community who are committed to ending online defamation once and for all, I applaud you for taking this less traveled path of light. I especially thank those of you who have taken the bull by the horns and seized an opportunity to promote peace and unity. You are a shining example to all, once again, of the power of spirit and light 
to triumph over darkness, even in the face of adversity. The commitment made by Nick Farrell today represents a major turning point in the modern history of the Golden Dawn. Let us each and every one invest ourselves to stand with Nick Farrell in his endeavor to eliminate the terrible scourge of defamation and division in our community. Let us stand together as one community. To this cause, I pledge my sword as Golden Dawn Imperator. May we together display to the world the true power of the Golden Dawn to transform lives. May we unified embrace the beauty power and love of the first rays of sunlight of this glorious golden new dawn.